class 10. We have reached at the end of the lesson uh, 3, the rebellions and revolts. Uh, few topics are remaining, few uh, short topics are remaining, mostly the short uh, answer type of questions come uh, from this section. Three revolts we are going to discuss today. One is, the first one is Pagla Panthi revolt. Pagla Panthi revolt, actually Pagla Panthis were a religious sect. They uh, emerged in the uh, Maiman Singh district in Bangladesh, present Bangladesh. During that time it was East Bengal. So uh, the uh, leader of this Pagla Panthi revolt uh, was Karam Shah and uh, his followers, they have revolted against the increased um, land tax uh, and uh, uh, against the gov uh, injustice done by the government and the landlords. So, uh, Pagla Panthi revolt uh, had occurred in two phases. The first um, phase uh, occurred in 1825 under the leadership of Karam Shah and after Karam Shah, uh, again uh, uh, in 1813 actually uh, and 1825 onwards after his death, uh, his son Tipu Shah had led this movement. So, this was uh, actually a religious, uh, it was held by the religious sect. The followers were mostly the peasants. So this revolt uh, falls under the category of the peasant revolt. Uh, but it had not so, uh, it had not got so popularity. It was a very localized uh, movement. So... Uh, it was subdued very easily by the British government. Next, we are going to learn about uh, an important aspect of Wahhabi movement. We have learned about the Wahhabi movement. We know that the term Wahhabi means uh, renaissance and, or regeneration. Now, regeneration or renaissance of what? Of the path of Islam. Now the real name of Wahhabi movement was Tariqa e Muhammadiya. Please be very careful. Sometimes an objective question is going to be asked. What was the real name of Wahhabi movement or what was the other name for Wahhabi movement? So the answer will be Tariqa e Muhammadiya, which means path of Muhammad. That means uh, the uh, the teachings of Prophet Muhammad. So, the, this Tariqa e Muhammadiya movement and the Wahhabi movement more or less both were same, but there was a distinct uh, uh, difference between the two. The Wahhabi or the Farazi movement had occurred uh, so that they could bring about the religious reform. That means they could uh, purify the, uh, the injunctions of Islam uh, but, um, or the teachings of Quran. They should work according to the teachings of Quran. That means Wahhabi Farazi, they would follow the teachings of Quran Sharif, the holy book of the Muslims, the Qurans. Whereas Tariqa e Muhammadiya focused upon the teachings of Prophet Muhammad, not uh, uh, on Quran. Quran actually was written uh, by the uh, prophets, uh, the sorry, the Khalifas, the caliphs, uh, the or the uh, for representatives of Prophet Muhammad who had come after Prophet Muhammad, but. Uh, Tariqa e Muhammadiya, they followed the actual teachings of Prophet Muhammad, which are known as Hadith. And uh, that was the difference between the two. And uh, their leaders were Anayat Ali, Karamat Ali. So, uh, mostly they, the uh, Tariqa e Muhammadiya was 
the religious reform movement, it did not uh, take turn, unlike the Wahhabi movement, it did not take turn uh, into the um, uh, political or economic reform movement. The last um, movement that we are going to discuss is the Peasants' Revolt of Pabna. Pabna is a place in Bangladesh right now. During that time, it fell under the uh, East Bengal. So, the peasants uh, in Pabna area, they had um, revolted in the year 1870 uh, uh, against the increased added um, tax uh, upon the land. The, there were land tax, there were uh, fixed land tax, but the government had imposed an increased added land tax. And so the landlords and the peasants both had revolted together against this. And uh, due to their uh, huge protest, the government had to um, pass the Bengal Tenancy Act of 1885. Now, uh, this is also an uh, important objective question. Uh, when was the Bengal Tenancy Act was uh, uh, passed? So, the answer will be in the year 1885. Now, uh, this uh, revolt of Pabna peasants had got the political support from uh, Indian Association. They had uh, demanded, the Indian Association had demanded the restoration of rights of the peasants in their land. So peasants could not be evicted from the land if they failed to pay the tax. So the uh, Bharat Sabha or Indian Association had demanded to restore the rights of the peasants in their land. And uh, for that reason, the uh, uh, Bengal Tenancy Act was passed in 1885. The leader of uh, this revolt of Pabna peasants were Ishan Chandra Rai and Shambhunath Pal. And for uh, uh, we can say that the uh, Pabna peasant revolt of 1870 was uh, successful because it had been uh, successful because it had uh, forced the government to pass the Bengal Tenancy Act by which the rights of the peasants on their land was uh, legalized. So students, this was the last topic uh, from this lesson. We have completed the syllabus of first unit exam. Uh, I hope that you all are uh, solving the worksheet. We are going to discuss about the questions of the worksheet very soon. Uh, till then, you keep on uh, studying properly. Take down the notes from the PDFs that has been provided. Please jot down these points in the copy. From the uh, Pagala Panthi revolt, Tarika e Muhammadiya, and Peasants' revolt of Pabna. These, these are mostly uh, coming as the uh, objective type of questions. So, these points will be helpful for you to learn.